How's everybody doing? We got the post-lunch sleepies going on here. It's good to see everybody. Thanks for having us. Yeah, I think so. All right, guys, so we're gonna be talking about location data and how it helps uh, TensorFlow in the insurance tech industry. So, and also big shout out to Cardo for hosting this awesome event. So I'm Jeff Michener, I'm the CEO of Dataplore. Um, we'll get into more about what Dataplore is, but we're a location data company. I'll let Jesse introduce himself. Hi, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Good to be here, everybody. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for TensorFlight, and thrilled to be working with Jeff and uh, the Dataplore team, and then certainly here with your great uh, company this afternoon. Cool. So what is Dataplore? Uh, we're a location data company. We're mapping the physical world, so any pretty much commercial building or place, uh, non-residential. We're in over 200 markets and territories, have over 250 million places in our database, about to be 300 million places, uh, about 15,000 brands, as you can see. Uh, and we are working with anywhere from fast-growing startups like TensorFlight to the Fortune 500. So what makes us a little bit different uh, in the location data space is, well, we started internationally first. We started in emerging markets, and then we grew into a global solution. So what that means is we figured out how to use technology and humans in order to provide highly accurate data and at scale. All right, that's really it for me. So let's hand it over to somebody who's uh, much smarter and is <laughs> using the data rather than me. This is all making me blush on stage here. Uh, so TensorFlight, um, Super excited to be here uh, on behalf of the company. We really are uh, an AI uh, technology company providing property data to insurance companies. So ultimately really focused on property and casualty insurers globally. And what we do is we automate uh, the entire property inspection process and provide instant and immediate analysis of residential and commercial properties globally so that underwriters can very quickly have all the property attributes and the data inputs that they need be able to model out the risk of a property and to get a policy out. And why is that important? Because ultimately, uh, today, um, you know, for any insurance company trying to manually predict building risk factors, it's like flying blind. And at, we look at the impact of natural catastrophes that are happening certainly much more frequently. Last year alone, insurers had over $115 billion in losses due to natural catastrophes for underinsured properties, right? And so why is that? Well, they've got to collect all this information about the property from the property owner, you know, the construction type. People don't know these answers all the time. There's a lot of gaps in that information. It leads to inaccurate data, out inputs, and then ultimately outputs for price policies. What TensorFlight does, and certainly with our partnership with Dataplor, is we use uh, computer vision. All we need is an address. We geocode that property. We pull in geospatial imagery. We run computer vision on that imagery and then layer in other data points, many of which come from Dataplor, to provide very accurate and robust property data to those underwriters right in their systems so they can model risk out. Um, where Dataplore has been really fantastic, we were really looking at a good POI provider, and we were looking at you know, who was out there. We talked to a few different companies, but ultimately what we were really after was a POI provider that could provide business data, business information. And so what we really found to be most impressive about Dataplore was their coverage, their scale, their accuracy, and Jeff, who's a great guy, by the way. Um, <laughs> And so we had assessed a number of providers, and we actually have a team of property analysts at our company that will take these data, these randomized data um, examples, and then compare them to kind of try to understand the level of accuracy, and we were extremely impressed with what Dataplore did. Ultimately, what we're doing now is we've now layered in all of these property attributes on businesses uh, globally into our models. We, they host in a, in a data warehouse, and then we actually build them into different models, and where has that impacted the business? First and foremost, we've had much more accurate geocoding because of the data that comes out of Dataplore. Uh, secondly, when you think about insurance, right, ultimately it's about what happens if something happens to this property. What is the risk of that? And what is the cost if that property is lost? And so we've developed a really unique and sophisticated AI replacement cost tool within our platform, which ultimately takes different data inputs and will give an insurer a very accurate calculation that if that building, that property, that house, whether commercial or residential, is destroyed, what is the cost to rebuild that in this geography, in this market today? Dataplore's data has been fantastic in helping us build a much more effective model around that with much more accuracy. 
And at the end of the day, that's really the name of the game when you think about insurance and, and providing property data, it's about accuracy. Um, also, some of the really cool stuff that we're looking to do now as we scale, we are an international company. We deal with insurers in the US, uh, most of Western Europe, Japan and Australia. We're scaling very quickly and we were very uh, excited to be aligned to Dataplore in terms, in the context of their ability to scale with us, right? There are a number of POI providers up there that are great, but they're very focused regionally and it just doesn't work for us. Um, as we kind of look forward, as we continue to, to build out our models and to continue to provide more inputs into our modeling, um, as we look kind of forward as to where TensorFlight goes and how does Dataplore align to us and help us sort of accelerate that, that direction, you know, ultimately what we want to get to is to be a true AI underwriting end-to-end -end solution for insurers. So ultimately providing all of the data inputs and the risk modeling to make it very easy to automate that process to underwrite a policy. So, the goal is to have one underwriter with our technology do what five underwriters would have done. Um, one of the really exciting areas that we're investing in, we're building out currently, where Dataplore has been super valuable, is around building survivability scores. So when we think about the impact of climate change, right, what, what are the attributes of that building? What is the construction class? What is the occupancy type of that building? All of those elements, the condition of the roof, the condition of the facade, is it in a flood zone? Is the geocoding accurate? To ultimately be able to predict out what the likelihood of that property is to survive against some climate impact that might be common to that area. And uh, without data pro, we just frankly, we couldn't do it. Um, so thrilled to be here today. Um, happy to answer some questions if they come along. Um, but I couldn't uh, encourage you folks more to, to really kind of dig into data plan what they're doing. You know, our focus is obviously insurance is a lot more that they do. And I would certainly welcome the opportunity to anybody that wants to talk and understand a little bit more about our use case in the insurance industry, how we're materially adding value to insurers, and how we're helping them to reduce waste, cost, and risk across their portfolios by managing their uncertainties at scale. Um, so thank you folks very much. Cool. All right. <laughs> Good job.